Tea has long been linked with a plethora of health benefits, with everything from weight loss to cancer prevention and longevity. Not surprising considering its very origin more than 5,000 years ago. It was identified as the herb that cured various ailments in Shen Nong, credited as the discoverer of tea. At the same time, one can scarcely be blamed for taking a skeptical view of the health benefits of tea what with some of the fantastic claims floating around some even selling it in capsule form to purportedly best reap its full benefits. Personally I think that is absurd. Tea drinkers succumb to illnesses, die and speaking from personal experience struggle with weight problems as well. By no means is tea a miracle drug not that such a thing exists. To market it as such, in my opinion is insulting to this beloved drink as well. If drinking tea is an end in itself, it would still be an immensely gratifying and pleasurable end. If you are trying to convince me to drink a bitter, foul-smelling herbal concoction then you are expected to give me the full range of benefits, preferably with credible proof. Tea is nothing like that, nothing at all. In fact, brewed right, tea is one of most delectable, enjoyable drink in the world. To have to market the health benefits of tea in order to encourage people to drink is ludicrous that should be a peripheral benefit, not a main draw. Like soda, besides the fact that it is high in empty calories giving and cavity causing sugar, no soft drinks company ever ran an advertising campaign based on the health benefits of the drink. It is enjoyable, plain and simple. You drink it because you like the taste of it. Taste is personal but with approximately half the world's population in its corner, tea can't possibly taste too bad. Why then should one need to continually market the drink painting it as a solution to your varying health problems? On the other hand, there are documented research evidences highlighting the health benefits of tea. Whether it is population studies, lab researches or simulations on rats, there have been many credible sources singing the praises of tea. Understandably, Skeptics in our midst would be wont to jump on the proverbial bandwagon especially given the hyperbole of certain proponents. But to discount the health benefits of tea entirely because it has been overblown in some quarters is irresponsible. The Chinese have been drinking it for thousands of years and the Japanese for centuries. Traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture have been gaining credence in medical circles in recent decades. Though a certain amount of measured skepticism is prudent, to discredit the health benefit of tea altogether is akin to throwing the proverbial baby out with the bathwater. Personally I feel you should drink tea because you enjoy it and there is plenty of reason to. If there are health benefits to be derived from drinking tea, it should be taken as a plus point but not the main reason. Tea in itself deserves better than that.